Hey guys, so today we are going to look at the Chapman Ghost Fret Pro. Now, I've had this guitar for probably two or three days now. So, what do I think about it? Which is the main reason that you're here, because you probably wanted to buy one. Uh, let's just say, am I as impressed as I thought I was going to be? And the answer will be no. Because, if you can see the um, Harley Bent Namrock up there, that was like uh, three, 350 pound, it was a B stock. And if you put them both side by side for touch and feel, if that wasn't made in Indonesia and this wasn't made in Korea, I would say that they were made at the same factory. The quality of that and me and Harley Benton have a love-hate relationship, so I'm in no way a Harley Benton fanboy. But the quality of that easily equals this, which is a shame because this is like nearly a thousand pounds new, and like even a stock that's around four, four hundred, four hundred and twenty pounds. And with that, you get EMGs, stainless steel frets, like this. You get an ebony fretboard, like this. Uh, these pickups. They, they're probably the strangest pickups I've ever got in a guitar. Like, they just sound very different to anything else. They're really bassy as well, and that's not to say they don't sound good, because they kind of do, if you dial them in right. Uh, it's got hip shot, open gear tuners, mahogany body, flame maple cap, and again, like uh, the flame maple cap is, you know, a, a big deal apparently, but there's not much flame on it to be fair. So, yeah, and the ebony fretboard, it's just looks like rosewood because it's not like the dark ebony like you would get on the uh, LTDs and ESPs that use the really nice dark wood. Uh, but yeah, all that being said, it is a nice guitar and if I'd have paid a thousand pounds for it, I wouldn't be happy at all. So if you do want one of these, I would advise you to go into the used market and have a search as I did and I found this for £450, which is a lot better. But yeah, well, um, obviously it's got a push pull one thing I did notice as well is the knobs are exactly the same as the knobs on the Harley Benton which is strange as well since they are very you know they, they're just fucking really really similar um, but yeah we'll have a quick playthrough of sounds and see what you think basically but would I recommend it? Not at full price. If you can get it cheap, used, it's a nice guitar. But, like I said, the pickups are very, very strange. I don't know why they didn't just put like Seymour Duncan's or something for this price, price guitar. But, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 